Hello guys, today I will be showing you how to run Windows programs on your Mac. We will be using two programs that you download from the same website and is by they are by the same developer, I think, and they are called Wine and Wine Butler. So as I said, they will make it possible for you to run programs like Notepad++ or even play games that uh, that that you cannot play on your Mac since they are only uh, only meant to be run on Windows so what you're gonna do is go into your web browser then you search for wine bottler go into the first link into this website uh, you see here winebottler.cronenberg.org and when you come here you will see two options either the wine bottler the development download or the stable one and I will download or I've already downloaded the stable one but when you have downloaded it uh, you can go to your downloads and click on this inside here you'll see this uh, these two programs as I said the wine and the wine bottler program uh, so what you need to do now is to just mark these or or take one by one and drag them into your applications folder and I've already done this as well so I will show you how to run a Windows program now. So uh, I will download Notepad++, um, which I think is only um, for Windows. So I will download here, and as you can see, it's a .exe program. So that means that you cannot run it in your Mac so you go to downloads and now what you are gonna do with the exe file is that you wanna right click it and then open it with wine click on wine this is the stable one uh, click on that one and now you will see uh, a verification and then uh, this program the wine program will open be opened um, so you can either convert it to a simple OSX application uh, or you can run directly in and then in your wine files and I usually go for the top one um, I've actually never used this one but I think it's very good too uh, but just click on go and then the vine will do some configuration and then you will come into your, your, the installer for notepad++ as you can see this is the icon for notepad++ or an image that represents notepad++ so choose your language and then you click OK click next you see it's just like as it would be in your um, Windows operating system now uh, you can run notepad++ and this will be op this will work just like uh, a Windows program so as as you can see it looks very good um, and now if you wanna go and open this program again um, there are some bugs um, I think but nothing that really bothers you too much but when you wanna open this program again you go into wine bottler the other program you, that you downloaded um, this will open 
this uh, this window and then you can click on my Mac and then click on wine files and this button here this will open the Explorer and as you can see uh, the wine bottle works as um, in this way they they create a folder call called Drive C which is where usually all programs go into in program files and you know yeah so now you can go into notepad plus plus here and then you see the exe file here so that then you just do the same thing again with the exe file just click go and the program will be opened but this is already open but yeah you see it works so I also have the Cisco packet tracer here and to find the pack the link or the file for the program you go into bin and then into packet tracer 6 here uh, and then open it with wine so now you will see that it works perfectly so yeah it looks like this and yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope someone learned something from this I had a uh, I had a guy that had some problems and I hope he watches this video thank you guys for watching as I said and bye